Welcome back to Franchise TV, the YouTube channel where I will unbox anything. Today I actually have a $100 comic book mystery box from the company Torpedo Comics. A couple times a month they'll release mystery boxes and so far I haven't been too impressed with them. Majority of people also have not been very too impressed with them. But I keep buying it because why? On this channel, I'll unbox anything and I'll keep unboxing stuff even if I don't like it. Because why? I do it for you guys. Let's unbox this. So, 100 bucks. There are a slim possibility of getting out something worth a lot more than what I paid. So, how Torpedo Comics works is I think you get something like eight, seven, eight, ten, five something comics in this box. If you got one of the big hits, there will be a Polaroid picture taped to the top of this lid on the inside. No Polaroid, your box is a stinker. Polaroid, you got a good box. There's only pretty much like maybe 10 top hits, maybe, out of like three, 400 boxes sold. The odds of getting out a decent box are very, very bad. But this time, this is actually the 2.0 box. I only bought one of them because I don't want to waste too much money. It's 100 bucks for this box. And you'll honestly get probably about $34 worth of comics back. The sticker prices on these comics, yes, will be like $100. But the prices on the comics are Torpedo Comics in-store prices. You get it in store prices not actual real value so here we go i am not going to actually look on the top of this lid until the very end of this video because pretty much if you look at the top of this lid to start with you know right off the bat if your box is going to be good or not so i don't want to look make sure the camera can't see it wait till the very very end and shut the lid could not see it so we'll go back once this is all done and see if I got a good box or not because these comics here will not be worth a hundred dollars they'll probably worth maybe if I'm lucky half of that so what I recommend honestly after buying maybe a 10 torpedo comics mystery boxes so far would I recommend buying from them honestly no I would not I would not recommend buying mystery boxes from this company uh, just because the value just is not there for the average consumer you're just not going to get good value back of course if you got a big top hit obviously yeah you got your value back but majority of us you will not get your value back so here we go oh yeah they like the packaging is always a plus though i mean presentation is wonderful on these but presentation doesn't really matter if the contents are uh you know lackluster so here we go first one the back of it they actually they graded this an 8.0 very fine this is have you the nerve to face the unexpected trash um i don't know anything about this comic i know nothing they're saying it's worth 40 dollars Honestly, I I kind of doubt that. I don't see a $40 comic here. Even as an 8.0. <laughs> Maybe like 15 but I don't know. Here we go. Next one. They're saying it's worth $15. Challengers of Unknown. They're saying the back of it, it's a 6.5. Fine plus. They're saying it's worth $15. Honestly, this one is lucky to probably be a five dollar comic book in this condition lucky to be a five dollar comic book okay next we have an annual swamp thing this they have five bucks on it in actuality this is probably in most comic book shops this will be in in the dollar bins to be honest with you so next one they have a suicide squad they say an eight bucks on it Okay, next. The Fury of Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, $8. No. 
they're saying this is a 9.4 near mint even at a 9.4 is anybody paying eight bucks for this <laughs> no this is like a dollar comic maybe two dollars and then next we got a green lantern they're saying four dollars man that's it's another dollar comic then we have a batman annual number nine they're saying it's worth 12 bucks um yeah i i really doubt it that's probably a couple dollars tops voodoo number one they're saying it's worth five bucks that's a freaking dollar comic right there that'll be in the dollar boxes at most comic book stores next booster gold number 47 they're saying it's worth six dollars that's another it's in dollar box in most comic book stores and last one superman lois lane at number 52 they're saying it's worth 20 bucks honestly it's probably a five ten dollar comic wow um there's still a possibility i have a top hit picture but i mean i'm saying honestly five six seven i'll be nice ten eleven i'll be nice fifteen twenty twenty one I'll be extremely nice, 30. I'll be nice to give half. I'm saying there's probably about maybe no more than $50 here. Probably more likely about 40 if, if I'm lucky. If I actually sold this stuff, I'd probably be lucky to get 40 bucks out of everything. So yeah, this that was horrible. That was horrible. Horrible. Here we go. Please be a freaking Polaroid. Please. Please. I get one. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. So, I know Torpedo Comics over the past weekend. I don't know when this is actually going to be published and posted on the YouTube. I don't know. But the past weekend, they posted up a new comic book mystery box, and I passed on it because I honestly I don't know how many more of these. Torpedo comic mystery boxes. I, I'm I'm gonna do because man, these are just bad. I mean, these are just bad. They literally. If you watch other uh, YouTubers like uh, watch like Very Gary Comics and RCG Comics and channels like that, and and uh, yeah, you'll kind of see the same kind of things that uh, they've talked about it too. That man, these these mystery boxes. I think it was Very Gary Comics who was talking about. It's literally, it's like they pick people off of the streets and said, hey, go back into the into the back of our shop, pick out 10 comics from our uh, dollar boxes and try to grab a couple of them that have like price tags on them between 20 and $40, you know, and pick out 10 comics and start making boxes. That's pretty much, that kind of, that kind of seems like that's how they're doing these mystery boxes. They're just... They're hiring people off this. Obviously, they're not, but it just seems like they're hiring people off the streets to literally just make these mystery boxes, just random, just back issues that they cannot sell. I mean, do you honestly think any comic book store in the country is selling this comic for forty dollars? No. This is probably going to be a lucky fifteen dollar comic. But you know what? Let's find out. Max is going to check on eBay. Let's just see actual sold listings for this comic what this is actually selling for on ebay is it actually selling for forty dollars let's find out so funny thing on ebay i'm looking right now on actual sold listings not asking prices sold nobody has bought this on ebay in the last 90 days nobody has bought this comic nobody so then i turn off these sold listings and i say what are people asking for this comic? Not what's sold for, but what are, are people trying to sell this for? So here's somebody that is has it graded a good plus condition, which is, you know, it's it's comparable to this. They're trying to get 14 bucks out of it. Nobody's buying it. Here's somebody who's rating this an 8.0, same condition. They're asking $14.99. Nobody's buying it. Here's somebody asking 20. They're saying it is very fine condition. Obviously, nobody's buying it. And then here's somebody saying this is very, very good. They're asking 24. Nobody's buying it. Here's somebody saying this is in very good condition. They're asking six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Nobody's buying it. Seven bucks. So on eBay, people are asking, let's say on average, fifteen to twenty bucks. 
for a, this comic in this condition and it is not selling for even 15 to 20 bucks so that's what i'm saying this comic honestly you probably lucky to get 10 bucks out of this so 40 dollars on this is uh probably about 75 percent too high so yeah that's most of these comics in the torpedo boxes are like this if I, i'd be lucky if i get 30 bucks for this whole stack if i was lucky so yeah so spend your money wisely and you know spend it how you want to spend it if you enjoy buying mystery boxes like this where you will pretty much get a whole stack of comics that you don't want they don't fit in your collection and you'll have very much trouble yourself trying to sell them go ahead and keep buying these but myself i'll be backing off buying mystery boxes from torpedo comics just because their mystery boxes are very very bad i get it mystery boxes are a mystery but you have to put value into your boxes you cannot charge 100 dollars and give your customer like 30 dollars of value you're giving hundreds of customers 30 dollars of value and then 10 people you're giving like 500 bucks of value you're making tens of thousands of dollars of profit so spend your money wisely and on this channel i will unbox anything even boxes that i know are bad spend your money wisely on franchise tv we'll unbox anything <laughs>